let us understand the meaning my dear students <clears throat> both oxygen and sulfur are non metals and they are electronegative element so they attract electron thus when first electron is added electron is easily welcomed energy is released and addition of electron is favorable thus the reaction is exothermic you can see that this is an electronegative element which attracts the electron so as electron is attracted o turns into o minus 1 so the energy is released and my 141 kilojoule per mole energy is released same thing happens with sulfur that sulfur is an electronegative element which is a non metal oxygen is also non metal so they are electronegative element so there is an attraction between the electron and sulfur which is oxygen and sulfur both are neutral so they attract the electron being electronegative element and thus electron is added and energy is released so the reaction is exothermic but when we add second electron we add second electron to uninegative ion you can see that s minus 1 and o minus 1 are uninegative ion they already have a negative charge on them and we add an extra electron to them the newly added electron feel electrostatic repulsion with uninegative ion thus addition of electron is not favorable and energy will be required for addition of second electron and thus addition of second electron is endothermic so we need to give energy from outside and that is why the value of delta h is positive you can see this is my negative ion this is electron is also negative so there is repulsion between the negative ion and electron there is repul s minus 1 is negative ion electron is negative so there is repulsion between the s minus 1 and one electron ultimately o minus 2 and s minus 2 when formed we need to provide energy from the outside so for this reaction from the outside 843 kilo joule per mole energy is provided for this reaction plus like uh, 790 kilo joule per mole energy is required for addition of the second electron overall formation of oxide ion and sulfide ion that is o minus 2 and s minus 2 is an endothermic reaction so energy is required for the formation of sulfide ion that is s minus 2 and oxide ion that is o minus 2 you can easily see it here that o plus 2 electron that gives o minus 2 and your delta h is equal to plus 702 kilo, kilo joule per mole and s plus 2 electron that gives s minus 2 and your delta h is plus 590 kilo joule per mole though energy is required for the formation of oxide ion o minus 2 but still o minus 2 is more found in nature as compared to o minus 1 what is the reason give reason so now we need to understand about the reason what is the reason behind it we find o minus 2 more in nature nature as compared to o minus 1 this can be explained by the following reasons number 1 oxygen atomic number is 8 electronic configuration is helium 2s2 2p4 oxygen when takes two electron it forms o minus 2 o minus 2 has 10 electron so the electronic configuration would be helium 2s2 2p6 which is similar to neon o minus 2 has stable ns2 and p6 type of noble gas electronic configuration while o minus 1 does not have stable ns2 np6 electronic configuration you can see o minus 1 has 9 electron and that is helium 2s2 2p5 which is not like you know noble gas electronic configuration so o minus 2 is stable because it has got the uh, noble gas electronic configuration then the second thing comes which is known as the lattice energy lattice energy of any ion depends upon the extent of solvation or hydration for aqueous solution so ion the lattice energy depends upon the extent of hydration or solvation solvation or hydration depends upon the charge is to volume ratio which is also known as the charge density now the difference in volume of o minus 1 and o minus 2 is not so big 
but charge is differ by almost one so the the the, the charge is major difference therefore o minus 2 has larger charge this is your l if you cannot read it it is larger larger charge or charge density so more solvation or hydration possible so more is the lattice energy thus lattice energy of o minus 2 is more than the lattice energy of o minus 1 which overcome the second electron gain energy required and thus in nature in aqueous solution o minus 2 is more stable or found more in nature now we should understand about the electronegativity of the group 16 elements. Next to fluorine, oxygen has the highest electronegativity value among the elements. We say electro if we say electronegativity of fluorine is 4, then we could easily say that electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5. The ability of oxygen to stabilize highest oxidation state exceeds that of fluorine. What is the reason? Now we should understand what is the reason that the ability of oxygen to stabilize higher oxidation state is more as compared to fluorine. We can explain the reason by the following points. Point number one. Ion of oxygen bears minus two charge as O minus two whereas fluorine ion bears minus 1 charge as F minus 1 ion. Thus, minus 2 charged O minus 2 is attracted more towards high charged metal ions. Second, oxygen has ability to form multiple bonds like P pi P pi and D pi P pi type with transition metals. Oxygen makes bridge bonds too. Like Thus, ability of oxygen to make multiple bond explain its superiority to stabilize the highest oxidation state. Now, we should understand where does it stabilize the highest oxidation states. So, the examples for Mn, highest oxidation state of fluoride is MnF4, that is Mn plus 4, but highest oxidation state of oxide is Mn2O7, where Mn is found at plus 7 oxidation state. No higher oxides Fe above Fe2O3 that is Fe plus 3 are known. But ferrets like FeO4 minus 2 where Fe is found as a plus 6 are formed in alkaline medium but they readily decompose to give Fe2O3 and O2. Thus highest oxidation state of fluorine is FeF3 that is plus 3 oxidation state. Now we should study about the physical properties of group 16 elements. We can say oxygen, sulfur, sallurium, tellurium and polonium. Oxygen and sulfur are non-metals. Whereas selenium and tellurium are metalloids. And polonium is a radioactive metal. Oxygen is a gas whereas sulfur is a waxy solid or a smooth solid. Selenium and tellurium are solid. And pol polonium is solid but it is a radioactive substance. Thank you my dear students. Hope you are enjoying your studies. Happy learning.